Hi guys, this is Kalura Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an Estonian noop. And that is just these little series of um, almost bobble looking stitches. And they're just wrapped stitches that you increase from a single stitch and then decrease on the wrong side row. So these noops are worked over two rows. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I have a piece of work here on my straight needles and I've actually worked in pattern up to where I'm going to place that noop. It's going to be in this center stitch of the shawl. And one thing I would suggest before you guys work this stitch is to have a couple of stitch markers handy so you can place those on either side of your noop because you're going to be working an increase of seven stitches. And I'll show you what I mean when I get to that point. So this is where I'm going to be placing that noop. And what we'll do is we'll insert our needle into that stitch knitwise. And we're going to knit one stitch without removing the original stitch from the left hand needle. And we're going to stretch it out nice and long. And then you'll do a yarn over and keep that nice and loose. I usually stretch these out to about not quite half an inch. And you'll go back in and knit a third stitch and again loosen that up. There we go. You can see a little better and then leave a loose yarn over. And then we're gonna go back in, knit another stitch and loosen that, yarn over, and then we'll go in and do one final knit stitch. And we're gonna keep that loose as well. And then before I pull that original stitch off the left-hand needle, we're gonna rotate our work here and count two, four, six, seven. We do have seven stitches. And again, keep that last knit stitch nice and loose. Now we can pop that original stitch off of our left hand needle. And that is our first noop created. So I'm going to secure all seven stitches on my right hand needle. And then I'm going to grab that second stitch marker and place that on the right hand needle. And now while still securing that last knit stitch with my finger, I'm going to go on to the next stitch and continue on with this row in my pattern. And then I will show you what to do on the wrong side row when you get to that uh, noop and how to work it. Okay, so I'm on my return row and I'm almost to that first stitch marker where I placed my, my noop. So now that I've reached that noop, I can remove this stitch marker and just use it again when I do another noop in my pattern. But you can see all of the stitches on my left hand needle, all seven, before that second stitch marker. This way, you know that when you're working into these stitches, you're not going to accidentally grab the stitch to the left of that noop because you have your stitch marker there. So that's the reason we want to place that on both sides. So now what you'll do is you will put your yarn in the front of your work and you're going to use your right hand needle and go in purl wise. This is kind of hard to show you guys, so I'll just drop my yarn. You're going to go in purl wise through all seven stitches. And if I rotate my work, you can see I haven't gone in between any of those. I've just gone straight through, picking up all seven loops. Now you can pick up your yarn and we're simply going to purl those seven loops together and then drop that off of our left hand needle. And now we can remove that stitch marker because we're done with that. And then we'll continue on working to the end of this row. And when I reach the end, I'll show you what that noop looks like on the front of our work. Okay, so we've finished that wrong side row. And I'm just going to turn the work here and show you how that noop looks on the front side or the right side of our work. So if I show you the swatch from the beginning of the video, you can see these little noops and it just pushes it out kind of like a, a bobble or that type of stitch. And then if you look at the back of the work, you can just see where we purled them together. 
So that is how you create an Estonian noop. I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.